What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. You heard the intro, and also you're going to hear it's Swagger 3.0 Reloaded. Of course, it's me. Mr. Warmack's definitely in the building. And what I'm going to is, I'm, I'm answering questions. But well, what I do is, like, I'm, I'm here at my little desk here. As you can see, I got the video games behind me. Still moving stuff here in the garage, this at the fifth. But uh, I get a lot of questions asked. What I was okay. Well, originally, what I was doing was I was uploading my camera, my videos off my camera on my laptop right here. So what I did is I'm, I'm cruising the internet and I'm getting answered questions. And I said I had, still had the video camera on, and why not? You know what I mean? Let the dice, let the roll the dice and let the chips fall where they may. So, I had this one question. He was like, all right, since you're such a smart black guy, how do we fix uh, the black the problems of the black community? I don't know how you fix the problems. I can give you advice on how, what I would do. But uh, uh, this is just a short video and let, let's, let's go in. Now what I'm gonna say is, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on uh, I'm, I'm on pre. Just my. What was? What, what I don't want to say. This is. I'm gonna preface it with this. Anytime you hold the black community's feet to the fire, they will not like what you have to say. When you speak nothing but real truths, and they're never lying what you say, prepare to get your feet held. I, I'm prepared to get my feet held to the fire by what I'm saying. I live and die by my actions and my words, so if, uh, if you feel I'm saying something wrong, I always ask you and I always tell you, look it up for yourself and prove me wrong. So, here we go. First off, we need to get back to the traditional values, which is not going to happen. We need to get back to the traditional values that they had back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Now, a lot of you said, well, that's the days before civil rights and we couldn't vote this at the fifth. If you look at it, we had a better then than we do now. And we didn't have civil rights. What was the change? Civil rights. Civil rights unfortunately made a lot of black folks lazy and dependent upon the government. You don't believe me? Go to your welfare office. You don't believe me? Look at your Facebook. Look at all the fuckery and foolery and the coonery on there. You got little girls showing their ass left and right. You got little boys acting like little bitches. There's no sense of community no more. There's no more. Well, look at look at the videos on YouTube. You see all of stuff in the black community. It ain't black folks. White folks don't put up with that. Italians don't put up with that unless there's a price to pay for. The Spanish to a point will do that. But outside of that, look at the, look at the black community. You won't you won't give a black owner any any uh, any type of dealings unless you want to get yourself a uh, get the homeboy hookup. You want the homegirl hookup. He could be charging you. Let me put. It, let, me, let me make an example. There could be a black hair shop, like a hair salon, or also I'll say a hair shop, like Hair World, whatever. A big shop. It could be comparatively lower than the Asian shop that you shop at, but you won't shop at the black shop because they won't give you the hookup. But you'll spend more money at the Asian place, which is crazy stupid to me, but. That's what you do. Second off, you need to quit looking to get out, getting deals off of everything you do. You need to quit looking to be rewarded or be like you accomplished shit. There's many black people who I've known work for the first time and like they're as old as me, maybe a little bit younger. And they act like you know you want you, you got to throw a party for them. I'm like, no, you're supposed to do this shit. This is like real life here. You're supposed to do, get a job, get your military, get your education, do whatever you have to do to stay afloat. I don't begrudge nobody how they make their money. As long as you're not hurting anybody or hurting the sick and the elderly or the young. But every time you date some black people do something, they want credit. And there's what kills me for it. Well, I got a job. Well, I'm, I'm going, what are you supposed to do? What do you want? You want a cookie? Quit your job. I don't give a shit. You little bastard don't eat. Well, yeah, they will, because I'll pay for it, because I have a job. Unfortunately, I got paid for y'all. That's a couple ways. The third way is, 
get these ignorant ass women to stop having kids, being single mothers, and the ignorant ass guys quit fucking these single mothers and doing whatever they do afterwards. That's another one. Now, if you, uh, if you think I'm saying they're both, they're both males and females, or they're both ignorant, all you can do is look at your Facebook page. And I never understood this. You got females, and they're not getting paid regardless of what they tell you. If they are getting paid, look, the models, I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about regular people. I'm not talking about the face, the models who are on Facebook or who do that for a business. I'm not, they know who I'm talking about. The models don't aren't mad at me, and the Facebook people who do it for real life ain't mad at me because you wanna know why? Because they do it for real. Like if you see like one of my model friends on Facebook put her picture up there, trust me, she's getting gigs after that. And that's what I think a lot of you guys don't understand. A lot of you guys wanna put all your pictures up there and you think, you know, just because you get a couple of likes from a couple of scrubs, that's okay. No, that's not normal. You get treated the way you get treated because you present yourself like that. Then you're the first one, I'm not a whore, but yet you show your ass like one. It's not what you may be, it's not what you are, but it's what you're perceived as. And I'm sorry, so that's America. I've been, I've been judged wrong, but I have to live with that. Another way you can improve the black community, have more accountability. Every time there's a fuck up, you got 50 million reasons why there's a fuck up. Instead of owning that mess. It seems that there's, a, there's only a few amount of black people who are willing to own up to what they do. You know, I was taught that's what you do. You, know, you own up to your fuck ups. When a win lose her job, if you ain't up sorry, it happened, you move on. There's no accountability in the black community. You wanna know why? But you can't be accountable in the black community because then you'll be a sellout. You always have to blame somebody else for your problems. You don't want to work? Well, why can't I find a job? Well, did you try looking? I don't have a computer, so I should give you everything I have just to, so you can live? So I die? You ain't gonna fucking have it. And along with accountability, I talk responsibility. There's a lot, you gotta be responsible. Now granted, I know there's certain situations in life which we can never escape. Divorces, separations, job moving, this, that, and the third. But to a certain degree, you can control your own life. Stop messing with, with with dirty bitches for 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 dudes and for women quit messing with dirty bastards. It's a lot that you can do in the black community, but as I always say, you can't hold their feet to the fire because they don't like that. They don't want you to they don't want you to expose them. They'll say, Well you're putting our dirty laundry out there. Our laundry's been dirty for the last fucking fifty years. If nobody starts cleaning it, it's gonna be dirty. That's why I don't deal with a lot of as far as, like on Facebook, I treat Facebook as Facebook. I know, I, I can distinguish who's doing real life, real stuff on Facebook as far as modeling and as far as business wise as ones who don't. If you, got a, if, if, you, if you don't know what a fucking uh, modeling agency is and you're taking pictures, I don't fuck with you. I fuck with business people, because I have to. Because my video business, it entails that. If I give, if references give me a good name, that's cool. Just cause fucking, uh, uh, LaQuisha LaQuinta Jones, you know, takes 50 million pictures. I can't use her as a reference. You wanna know why? Because like, who the fuck is she? So, at the end of the proverbial day, the black community needs to step it up. Oh, yeah, let me talk about it. You need to get rid of these foopaw leaders. These, uh, these, these poverty pimps, these, uh, these sharks out here. They just, they don't do nothing. I mean, there's a lot of us on Facebook and YouTube who have a message and we're finally getting it through. You know why we're getting it through? Because more and more, there's more black people like us. And it's, 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 it's getting to be a favorable amount now. There's more black people who's thinking like we are, and that's scary for a lot of liberals. They want to tell, give you a reason why it's the white man's fault. And, and here's what kills me. How is it it's the white man's fault? They tell, liberals tell you this, but still at the end of the day, the liberals have the same programs to keep you under their thumb. Like welfare, also like... Like half y'all don't even, like, not even half, same, 85% of y'all don't use welfare for its intended purpose. If you really did, it would be a lot better shape. But my feeling is we need to get back to the policies in the black community that helped us, like, from the 40s up to the 60s and 70s. Yes, I know we didn't have civil rights. Yes, I know they sent the fifth. Yes, I know there was no integration. But if you look at that, we had to be self-reliant. And when we were self-reliant, we were flourishing. 
It's when you, it's when these black leaders, and for good, bad, and different, I'm not going to criticize them because at the time they felt like they were doing what was right. They took what they took as affirmative action, and next thing you know, affirmative action led to you guys living, everybody living in the projects for fucking 100 years, living on welfare for 150. So somewhere, somewhere, there's, there's been a disconnect. And you can't tell motherfuckers nothing because they get mad at you. Oh, fuck this, you and Uncle Tom were. Look, man, I'm, look, you call me Uncle Tom all you want. But at the same time, don't get mad because I can function in society when you can't even function in your own house. So, there's a lot to think about. It's my video and I just had something to say. Peace.